guys, welcome back to my channel. So in this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to use this really amazing app that I just discovered like literally yesterday. And it's called Cocopa. I'll write it right here and link it below as well. And what it does is it allows you to create shortcuts on your iPhone with like whatever icons you want. So like if you have the Facebook app and you want to make the Facebook app app um, icon like pink or something then you can do that with this app um, you don't need to jailbreak your phone at all to use it also the app is free I believe it's only for the iPhone though but I'm not sure I mean if you have a droid go ahead and like you know check it out if it's available yeah, so I absolutely love it I will be showing you guys I guess how to create icons but before I do that I do want to let you guys know that it is just like a shortcut thing so like you can only create little icons for actual apps. Um, you can't create it for the phone, um, messages, mail, camera, you can't do that. Um, so pretty much when you click, when you um, try to edit your icons, see um, the ones that you can't delete? You can't create icons for that. Um, so like I said, for like the third time, I hope I'm not like repeating myself over and over here. Um, you can only create icons for actual apps, so like Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, Instagram, you can create icons for those. And also when you create a shortcut with Cocopa, um, like for Facebook app or whatever, you do need to keep the original apps because then your shortcut will not work because there's nothing to point it to, you know what I mean? So you do need to keep the actual apps and what I did with mine was I just put it all in a folder. So what I did was um, I have all of my actual apps as the cute icons and everything on my first page and then all my actual like original apps are on the second page so yeah that's pretty much that I will go ahead and show you guys what mine looks like and how to create your own shortcuts um, and how to create the shortcuts and all that so I hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you have any more questions just leave me a comment below I'll try and answer it but um, read the info box first though because I'll have everything in there so yeah bye guys so this is what my home screen looks like. I will go ahead and zoom in here to actually show you guys. So I have Viber, a speed dial for my home, um, Skype, the weather channel app, YouTube, Facebook, Facebook pages, Twitter, Instagram, PicFX, Line Camera, Diptych, Pinterest, Tumblr, PayPal, and Cocopa. And then down here as my main four buttons, I have a speed dial for my fiance. The Mail, Safari, and Pandora for music. And then all my original apps are still on this phone. It's just all on the second page. So I did group all the apps that are on here, over here in this folder. So they're all right there. And then all of this are just everything that you guys saw and do what's on my iPhone tag. So pretty much I just switched my first page and second page because my third page is exactly the same. So yeah, that's all I did. Really, really easy. Um, with Cocopa, you do need to keep the original apps because all of these are pretty much just shortcuts. So without the apps, they will not work. Um, so anyways, another thing I want to let you guys know is that you cannot create a shortcut for phone, messages, mail, camera, um, calendar, and all that. Pretty much all the things that came with the iPhone, you cannot um, create a shortcut of. So as you can see, all of these are actual apps, so you can delete them and whatever. Like these ones, you can create um, apps with, but all these right here, you cannot. Um, so how I did my Safari one is this is actually a shortcut for Google. And then, like I said, these are just speed dials for, um, you know, actual people. So if I actually want to get to my contacts, I have to go onto the f actual phone app right there. Um, as for my mail, this is just a shortcut to write an email to anyone. It opens up like this. So it's like you're creating a new message. Um, but yeah, it doesn't really go into my actual mailbox. So what I do is I just go to cancel up there and then delete draft. And then there's my actual mail. So... <laughs> That's just how that one works. 
and then um, I couldn't create a music icon for iTunes or my music so I just have here Pandora and then let's see what else but yeah that's pretty much it all of these are actual apps because like I said you can't create icons for these like you can't create an icon for messages um, you also can't create an icon for a camera you know so yeah all that is just on here and then now I'm just gonna show you guys how to create an icon like how I got these on my home screen or my phone so go into Cocopa and we're gonna make a Facebook icon but anyways this is what the Cocopa homepage looks like so you'll see all the new icons popular icons and all that and you can also search in the bottom um, they do have cute wallpapers as well so that's really cool and stamps I don't really know what stamps are but I haven't used those I just you know, got this for the icons, so that's all I really use. Um, so we're going to create a Facebook app. Just want to show you guys how to do that, or a YouTube app. So, you click on the icon that you want, and then you'll get this page, blah, blah, blah. Nothing important, really, besides this. So, set up a link. And then since you want this to point into YouTube, which is an app, you go into the app search. And then, you can see all the apps that they have. They don't have every app. Like, I wanted um, to create a shortcut for my bank, um, for my bank, but they didn't support that app. So, I mean, they do have quite a few here, though, but not everything. You can also search up here if you want um, to see if they have it on here. But YouTube is right there, so click YouTube. And then this is to add the gloss thing on the icon. So that's cool. And then click OK and it's going to open into Safari. So you click Yes. <laughs> and then you'll see this page and you'll just click this arrow button and add to home screen. And then you can change whatever you want that as and then add. And there it is. There's your YouTube app. And I'm just going to go ahead and drag it in here. And I already have it up there. So I'm just going to go ahead and delete that. Um, to create a speed dial, um, actually I don't want to show you guys that because then you'll see the um, phone number of that person. But um, to create the mail, I guess. Um, let's see here. I'll show you guys another one, I suppose. So mail. We're going to go ahead and set up a link. Email. And let's see. Set up an address. So this is, I'm just going to put in mine. Um... So click done, add gloss, and then yes. So what this does is it opens up a new message for your mail. Oh, delete that and put mail. So that's that. So when you open that, it just opens up a, a new message. And then you can write an email, blah, blah, blah. But... Let's not do that. And then there's your mailboxes. Um, but yeah, so let's delete that. And same goes with all the other apps. You know, you just literally find your favorite icon, set up link, search for the app. You can create um, speed dials right there, messages. Um, let's see this. Where do you want to set up a shortcut to? Phone call. So, I mean, you can create phone calls or all that. I never really used that one. Um, but, yeah, so we'll, we'll look at Instagram here. So, I mean, it's really easy and pretty fast. I don't know. And now you have another Instagram shortcut. So, that's pretty much it. Like, it's really easy to use. So also in Cocopa, you did need to make an account. So this is my account on here. I don't really have a bunch of stuff. Um, it's just my home screen right there. And then these are the icons that I like. So I like that it has this page because then you can see all the iPhone. I mean, all the icons that you like, and you can use them later and set it up on your phone. So I really like that. Um, and yeah, I mean, you can create your own icons as well, which I haven't tried yet, but. 
You just do it right here though, the middle button right here, which I never did, so yeah. So I hope this was helpful to you guys. Let me know if you have any questions, and I'll see you guys soon in my next video. Bye!